guidelines. First of all, we have to know about what is hemorrhoids or piles. The hemorrhoids or piles, nothing but it's the protrusion of the anal canal. Uh, that is the anal cushion theory. There is the cushions are the pillows, just like below the cushion, anal cushions are, which helps us for the, to protect the rectum or anal canal from the wear and tear of the defecation. So during the straining that is the heart stool or diarrhea that will cause the cushion to slip out through the anal canal and due to the congestion due of the hemorrhoidal arterial flow there is bleeding so bleeding and the uh, something coming out from the anal canal that will cause piles so during hemorrhoidal treatment we have to think about these things the symptom that is the something coming out of the anal canal and bleeding and also there is itching there is pain uh, in case of hemorrhoid in higher grade so hemorrhoids are usually two types one is external and one is internal and the internal hemorrhoids we can differentiate into grade one two three and four grade one is prolapse no prolapse only bleeding grade two is prolapse with bleeding but the prolapse corrects automatically and grade three the prolapse usually corrected by manually patient had to push the the push the things into the anal canal and grade four the prolapsed are usually thrombosed and it is not corrected manually also so the treatment modalities are usually differentiated in these grades according to the grade yeah and according to the grade in the grade one of the internal piles usually the treatment is conservative that is only some lifestyle changes and medication lifestyle changes is very much important in piles first of all lifestyle changes are uh, number one is our dietary habit we have to take much more fiber diet fiber diet to help the stool subtend the stool and form a bulk of stool we don't want any type of constipation or diarrhea number two is plenty of fluids to subtend the stool Number three, bowel habits. We should have a regular bowel habits. These are all very much needed. And the medications. Medications, one is tropical uh, medicines such as hydrocortisone, tropical medicines, steroid, tropical medicine, calcium, globicillate, tropical medicine, and some uh, uh, medications to stop the bleeding. Number three is, and then we come to the surgical treatment. In grade one, usually no surgical treatments is needed. Uh, in case of heavy bleeding, we can go for sclerotherapy. In case of grade two hemorrhoids, uh, the treatment modality is usually preferred as band ligation. Number two, band ligation is our office procedure. Number two is laser therapy also there. And uh, hemorrhoidectomy, that is the open procedure that is cut down of the bolus part. In grade three, hemorrhoidectomy, laser therapy, and staple hemorrhoidopexy is preferable. In grade 4, hemorrhoidectomy, staple hemorrhoidopexy and laser therapy is preferable. So, usually surgical therapy is needed from uh, grade 2 and for, for uh, mostly grade 3 and grade 4 hemorrhoids. The external hemorrhoids usually don't need any kind of treatment. It's a self-limiting disease, it's pain, but we have to give analgesic to uh, alleviate the pain and uh, to help the patient for the self-limitation of this uh, external pile. In case of uh, severe pain, we can go for thrombectomy in case of external hemorrhoids. So these are in simple language, all the treatment modalities we have now presently with our surgical procedure in case of hemorrhoids. Thank you very much.